Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to welcome you to episode 249 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Hoping everyone is getting in the holiday spirit. Things at my house are in full swing. We're not quite done with our Christmas decorations, but today I think is the day that we will be completing all of that. The elf on the shelf has been killing me. Do any of you do the elf on the shelf? Well, the thing with my little one is she's very interactive with the elf. She writes letters to Santa that the elf delivers. So what that means for my wife and I is that we have to constantly be on the lookout for these notes so that we can respond accordingly. It's a lot of work. But you know, tis the season. Any of you that saw my recent blog post saw a picture of the humongo Snoopy blow up that's on my lawn. Now my wife and I would never in a million years characterize ourselves as being those blow up types, but we've got a little one and she loves it. So, you know, anything for the kids. Today's question is a question that I received from The Bump. If you don't know, I am uh, one of the featured experts on The Bump. And the question was, will I be able to fill my C-section? And when I read this question, it really made me smile. And I answered it like this, not exactly. And the not exactly is because you will feel things like pressure, pushing, pulling, but you won't be able to feel pain. Your OBGYN will test you to ensure that you don't feel anything sharp or painful prior to actually proceeding with your C-section. You will be very likely distracted by whoever is behind the curtain with you uh, because, you know, if it's your significant other, you all will be chatting. Anesthesia probably is saying things to you as well, but no fears. We make sure that you are nice and comfortable prior to starting your surgery. And again, the main sensations that you will experience are gonna be things like pushing, pulling, and just a lot of pressure. Being someone that's had a C-section, I can tell you that I felt nothing, nothing at all. So most women have that same experience, and if by chance you are undergoing a C-section and you do feel pain, all you have to do is let your friendly anesthesiologist and your OBGYN know so that the situation can be rectified. I thought that was an excellent question because lots of women undergo cesarean sections. Um, I love being one of the featured experts on the bump because it gives me even more access uh, to pregnant moms and women all over the world and the ability to address any questions or concerns that you all might have. Thanks so much for that question. It was definitely a good one. Any of you out there who are listening, who happen to have a question or concern that you want to address on the podcast, all you have to do is go to www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. There's a big question mark. You can click on it and submit your question to me via email, or you can click on any of my social media venues and direct message me. We're getting questions from all over the place and addressing them as quickly as possible. For those of you who don't immediately hear your question on the podcast, know that it is coming. And I also typically send you an email addressing your question so that you're not waiting forever uh, to hear when your question is going to come up on the podcast. In closing, I'd like to thank you for all of your continued love and support. And again, we've got some really amazing things coming up in the new year. A lot more featured guests on the podcast, a lot more partnerships that I assume will share with you. And I'm finally, finally, finally releasing my pregnancy book, which has been ready forever. I just haven't gotten it out there, but I'm so excited to get that out there to you in the new year. 
I'm gonna leave you with a quote from Life's Little Instruction Book, another one of my favorites. And it states, never cut what can be untied. Think on that. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Looking forward to reconnecting on episode 250 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional.